everyone, Paul Natasha Skill Modeler. A video today on how to clean your airbrush. Now, it's going back for two reasons. Number one, uh, I want this video for Telford. So this would be on our standard Telford. We've needed a new video for a while. The last video I did was incorporating one of the techniques videos from about two years ago. So it's lost in there, it can't be used as a standalone video. And mostly, I saw a post of the day on a Facebook page. I can't remember which one it was, it was a modeling one. It wasn't ISM. And somebody was asking about airbrush cleaners, what do you use? I suggested ours, as I'm going to. Uh, they said they couldn't afford it because it takes a quarter of a bottle each time you clean your airbrush. And I need close to four cleans per bottle, which is utter nonsense. Whoever told them that was talking absolute rubbish. Uh, I, in fact, went and checked, and I think I managed to clean my airbrush with an absolute minuscule amount, uh, which I'll show in a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some Mr. Hobby Aqueous Flat Black through my trusty uh, aging infinity hard steam back 0.2 millimeter needle uh, we'll spray it through I'm gonna let it sit for 10-15 minutes dry nice all over the color cup uh, I'll show you the time we'll come back and I'll show how to quickly clean it off now this infinity is good 18 months old my color cup has lost all of its chrome it's scratched the hell in there as you can see because it's a very well used airbrush constantly used every day uh, exterior's held up really well, that's a fingerprint off me, it's a CR Plus so they do hold up really nice um, but that in there doesn't aid with airbrush cleaning because that's a rough surface but even with that I reckon two colour cups, not even full uh, a couple of backflows, a brush and we'll be done, no problem at all what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my airbrush hose which is there we're on, I've got some Tamiya flat black, Tamiya Mr Hobby, I've got some UMP thinner get the bottle a good shake Yes, I always smack it on my hands, everyone says, oh, why'd you do that? Mixes the paint. I need a new bottle of this as well. So I'm just going to chuck a little bit in there. Not a massive amount, because we don't need a lot. And we'll put in a little smidge in the thinner. And again, I don't measure my thinner. I just lob it in and spray accordingly. So there you go. It's a fairly, it's probably about 50-50, which is roughly what Mr. Hobby should be. I'm going to wipe that off, we're going to put it in the airbrush, like so, we're going to get it all over the sides of the airbrush, as you do, and what we'll do actually, we're going to pull it through, so don't, don't do this normally, I've got no spray booth on, but we pull this through, as you can see, you get to focus, it's all over the needle, so you can see it's on the needle, I'm going to get some thicker Mr. Hobby and I'm going to put it in neat just so I can get it smeared all over the side of the colour cup there we are so as you can see it's about a mil of paint in there I'm going to drag it as you can see that is literally everywhere that is neat paint I wouldn't recommend getting any metal inside your airbrush but there we go, and got it all over the side of the colour cup. It's absolutely everywhere. I'm gonna spray through the neat paint. Like so, we're gonna leave a good it's up to the neck inside, so it's probably not even half a mil. In there, I'm gonna take it off its air hose and I'll show you the time right now live. So it's 11.07 on Sunday the 1st of November. I'll come back 10-15 minutes and we'll clean it out once it's all nicely dried all around the rim of that airbrush okay <clears throat> so we go to the time it's been very nearly 15 minutes this has been left it's been left there I haven't touched it literally put it over there um, left it be if I grab it you can see inside the paint's all dried up the side it's still wet down the bottom so what we're gonna do we're gonna spray that away I've got my airbrush cleaning station next to me so there we go I'm just gonna pop it in blow away the old the paint that was left in there as you can hear there was quite a bit in there there we go so that's all the paint out of it and get some kitchen roll and I'm just going to show you what we're left with so you can see the bottom of the brush is empty but all at the sides we've got black paint everywhere so airbrush cleaner what I'm going to do I'm going to measure some out now the first mark on this cup is 5mm. I'm going to put it to 5mm. Here we go, 5mm. 
Don't know if you'll be able to see it on the side camera. There you go, it's just up to that first mark there, which is, in fact, it's just under 5mm. Yeah, it's just under 5mm. So, there's 5mm in there. There we go, there's airbrush empty. I'm going to pour a little bit in. I need to grab my cleaning brush, which I actually forgot to grab. There we go, it's a bit manky. My brush of choice is a humbrel. A large humble brush, you can see I've got two. I've got one with and without a yellow tape on, so I don't know which brush is which. Now I'm going to move that so we don't white out. I'm going to put a little bit of cleaner in. So it's probably about half of it. It's probably a little bit too much, but I tend to just lob it in. So, first lot all around the rim. Ooh, uh, so get your brush right in there, as you can see. Takes off all the dry paint off the side walls really quickly and easily. So all around the sides, I then get all around the top, all around the colour cup, all around the rim of the colour cup, and if any's got anywhere else, I'll do that. So once the sides are done, straight down the bottom, I push the brush right down into the needle. I'm not pressing on the needle, it's under the bristles getting down there. A good swirl around, I pull the needle back, I'm not pressing down for air, just so the needle pulls back to get on that, and then a very quick wipe over, brush goes down we then use the pinch tip if you haven't got a pinch tip you can buy little yellow caps that will fit over the end, we back blow it so what we're doing is we're blowing air back through the nozzle so we're pushing out any paint any other rubbish that comes out, I'm going to use that old paint cup from before to tip that away, never spray that through your brush because you could have dry paint everything in there. Now just off that one, the airbrush, we go to focus, it's probably 90% clean. What I'll then do, and I normally will blow it into the airbrush cleaning cup, is we'll just blow away what's left inside, a little bit more cleaner, another backflow, Like so. Now you won't get anything out of that, it's just a little bit discoloured. Spray a little bit through, get the cloth wet, wipe the pinch tip, and then grab my brush, wipe it off, dip it in the fluid that's in there, and very, very gently I just run it across the needle. Like so. And all that does is free up anything on the needle whilst it's still moist. All around the colour cup, which we'll wipe right now. So there we go, we'll do a pinch tip again. We're going to backflow it, we're going to tip it away again, we're going to wipe the inside again and spray away what's left. And then you go on white paper, spotless. Airbrush is absolutely spotlessly clean inside and out, needs a little bit of wipe there. Other than that, spotless. Now how much cleaner do we use? If I hold it up for me to see, and I use the mark, so we've got four there's three mil of cleaner left in there, and I'll try and show it on the side, and if I can't, I'll take a photograph right now live, so you can see where it is, now I can hold it up. There we go, let me just check the picture work. There it is, now if you can see that, there's the five mil mark. And we're just there, probably got tittle up a bit further back, but it is on the three mil mark. So I've used less than two millilitres of fluid to clean the airbrush. Uh, that's not a quarter of a bottle. So that equates to over a hundred and about 135 cleans per bottle, which for the price of our cleaner isn't that bad at all. So simple, easy to do. What I'll do, I'll put a little bit more of this through just to show you that the airbrush is clean. So there you go, spraying that through. That's just neat airbrush cleaner, there's no black in there. Absolutely spotless. So nice, quick, easy. And when you're done, just leave a little dribble of airbrush cleaner in the bottom. So next time you come to use it, it's fresh, it's ready to go. You can blow that away before use. Job done. That easy. So there you go. Nice and simple. 
Two millilitres of airbrush cleaner, not a quarter of a bottle, not like, you know, 70 odd mil per clean, as somebody said. Two millilitres. So if that's not value for money, I don't know what it is. Uh, simple, quick, I do that every time. I know for a fact when I come back to that airbrush, be it three days or a week later, it'll be fine to use again, it'll work. The only time I need to strip down is if I'm sw switching and changing paints, because I use Mr. Hobby, Acan, uh, Extra Acrylics, etc. And the, some of the water-based ones don't like the alcohol or lacquer-based paints, and they can gum up in your airbrush. Uh, and so that's the only time I'll strip it down. Uh, our airbrush cleaner works with every uh, paint out there. This airbrush cleaner works with every thinner out there, so every Tex 28, Ultimate, uh, Mr. Hobby Lacquer Thinner, etc., uh, etc. Et it, sorry, Lacquer Thinner. Mr. Hobby, Mr. Colour Thinner. It'll work with them all just as well. And as you've seen, it's very quick, simple, and easy to clean your airbrush. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope that's pretty useful. I'll catch you around, and I'll see you soon.